Here's Bob Stevenson. This event is scheduled two out of three falls with no time limit. Introducing your contestant in the black corner from Seattle, Washington, at 260 pounds, the current holder of the United States heavyweight title, Johnny Valentine. In the white corner, from Hartford, Connecticut, at 218 pounds, the originator of the Brack Snuff Trophy, Wild Bull Curry. Your referee, Dick Rain. So this tremendous crowd here at the Sam Houston Coliseum gives Bull Curry a roaring welcome back. They have come back here to see Bull Curry in a get-even match with that man right there, Johnny Valentine, the man who put his son Freddie in the hospital, the man who pulled one of the nastiest tricks that have ever been pulled in any ring. We're off now for best two out of three falls or less with Bull Curry now primed and ready and Valentine knowing what he's in against, facing a man who can deliver. You see Valentine crowding as he moves in on Curry, and Curry trying to get free, and he, Curry is a distance wrestler. He's like the man who likes to keep his opponent backed up, and that time he backed him. He knocked him. He knocked him slithering across that ring. A beautiful wallop, and it brings a roar of protest from Johnny Valentine. So Valentine knows now, as he has known, that when one of those fists swing, they contact and they hurt. Front headlock now, and he turns it into a quarter Nelson that he is using to work on the arm. No, now it's strictly an arm bar. But Curry has that hand free, and when he has that hand free, he's dangerous. Listen to this crowd. If Valentine has a friend in the house, you can't hear him, believe me. But this huge crowd, the largest crowd to see a wrestling match here in 15 years, has come here to root Bull Curry home. He caught it right smack alongside the head and alongside the ear. You see him as he holds that ear rather gingerly. I know exactly how he feels. Curry now goes into that typical stance of his. The crowding is being done by Valentine. You see him as he tries to keep Bull up close to that corner and, and up against the buckle now, but those short, sharp blows. Curry on the prowl as he moves around. Listen to the roar of approval these fans give him. And Valentine now has been clobbered on both sides of the head. Curry shows no favoritism when it comes to letting those knuckles speak for him. Curry again, and Curry is veteran enough to know when to exercise caution and when to let fly. This is Valentine's effort now to meet Curry at his own game, but this front headlock could do it. You see him as he heists up. Valentine has the advantage of, of size and height to raise up on that head. Well applied hold, that front headlock. You see him as he hooks Bull's arm, hooks his own hand and wrist too, raises up on it. There's the key to the hold. The way those two hands are caught. And the forearm alongside the jaw, lifting up on Bull's head in crooked fashion. And Curry can't get going with the weapons that he uses best. There comes a nutcracker as Valentine now takes Curry's head and starts to twist it to the side. The, the one arm high up there, but he decides to change. And you see the quick manner in which um, 
Valentine changed his grip that time. It's a reverse chin lock. Is it a strangle? That's up to the referee. He says move it. No, he says break it. And between breaking and moving, Bull has caught it, but the hold is broken. He's back in again for much the same thing. Now this time it's not a strangle. Reverse chin lock. Valentine favors this hold. He likes to wear a man down. You see him now as he gets across Bull's face. But at least Bull has no worry about what can happen to his face or the fact that he might lose some of his beauty. Curry has turned the hold. He has, he has tried to twist around in Todd Valentine to get, get closer to that arm as Valentine is smart. Valentine is trying to wrestle the bull and, uh, rather than meet him in a fist flying contest. Five minutes have gone by. This is the first fall of a two out of three fall match that has no time limit. And now Bull is easing some of the pressure on his face. He's turning in there just enough to be able to relax some of that pressure. And Valentine shifts again as he steps over Bull's leg to move in behind and to hang on. Problems for Curry. This is the way Valentine, of course, hopes to be able to beat him to wear him down, to use that extra weight of his, and to, whenever he can, cover up both the nose and the mouth and change it into a smother hold. Bull is trying to make sure that doesn't happen. Dick Reigns getting down there to test. There you see him as he lifts that arm up to see if Bull has become slightly or totally unconscious. But Bull's moving enough in there to keep the blood flowing. You see him turning toward him slowly, trying to move so that he can do something about it. Behind that arm is the face of Bull Curry, and there goes a swinging blow. And when he puts a pump handle in there, it swings like a piston. And Valentine made a mistake. He moved in swinging instead of moving in grabbing. And they, that one mistake now is costing him as Curry latches on in a beautiful wallop. So the veteran Valentine is the one who made the mistake. He tried to meet Bull at his own game, and we're having the spectacle of Valentine stalling now to keep Bull Curry at arm's length if he possibly can, and Reigns is telling him off. Anything to stop Bull Curry's rush was Valentine's motto that time, and he put it into operation. That's the bull. And there is only one Bull Curry. That strange stance of his as he moves in, part boxing, part wrestling, and part Bull Curry. Now that's Bull against the ropes, and this is Valentine's advantage as he comes clobbering down. Oh, what a... What a wallop. Bull is stunned. Valentine laid it in there with forearm, fist, and elbow. Covered a lot of territory, and he put a lot of weight behind it. Now the timekeeper's table, and this is where Wahoo McDaniels was badly damaged. As Curry catches, Ooh, laying him in there with a vengeance. There's Bull, halfway up the aisle now, as the second follows him, the fans Pat him on the back, shout words of encouragement, turn him around, hit him back toward the ring. Ring it out to Bob Stevenson and timekeeper Bill Bailey have been scattered on all sides. Curry's on the outside. You see him as Valentine goes to work on him. He's got him where he could, could clobber him and Bull again now is off on the concrete. But if a session down to the cold concrete can be of any use to him in recovering, then this trip will be well taken. The trouble is you come down, you hit the bones of uh, knees and arms and elbows. And
And Curry wants to fight his way in from in there, and there goes a driving elbow, and he didn't make it this time. That's a cinch. There's the bull as he moves up. Valentine catching, and here is a furious battle going on on each side of the ropes, and Bull is going to get in this time. Rolling front headlock, and Valentine desperately went into a wrestling move that time, desperately. And the first fall goes to Johnny Valentine. Nine minutes, 45 seconds, a two minute rest period in the ring. 9.45 at the time. We'll be back here again after this word from the studio. There is the bell, and up in the ring we are now, ready and set to go with Johnny Valentine, a fall ahead. Moving in there to try to clobber the second fall right smack out of Bull Curry if he possibly can. And he knows an advantage when he sees it, but watch that left of Curry, and that right. But Valentine now is exuberant over a success in the first fall, and he has walked right into dynamite, and that dynamite is swinging at him from all sides. Beautifully done by Bull Curry. And Curry has suddenly bounced back here and this tremendous crowd is roaring him on. But Bull knows that he can't afford to make a mistake. He wants to get even with his Valentine and ooh, right smack in the kisser, a beautiful wallop. Valentine is caught right in the, right the snoot. Side headlock, Curry driving it home. How he laid it in there. And Valentine has been clobbered down to that deck in no uncertain terms. And this crowd here senses that it is Bull Curry's advantage. And they are rooting him in there to do something about it. Watch that bull. You've got to watch Valentine too. Here is one of the most dangerous people. Right on the above the eye, he clobbered him that time. And again alongside the jaw. Valentine is standing in there. You notice, you notice that what Curry's doing is measuring him. He's trying to, uh, to, to cut him open. He, he was breaking down over the eye with those blows. And he has Valentine now clobbered right smack across the snoot time after time. Valentine is backing away. Bull Curry aiming at that target. Again, throwing those blows. And Valentine is in... Trouble City right now. Listen to the uproar here as referee Dick Raines tries to keep um, Curry away from Valentine and Curry is just as determined. And Curry has Valentine bleeding and he's working on that cut. You see him lay it in there and again as he blasts away with studied determination he is belting him over the eye and Clobbering right smack in there with everything he's got. And when Bull Curry lets fly, look at that face of Johnny Valentine as Curry blasts him. Ooh, tremendous. Valentine down like the proverbial timber. This crowd standing on his feet, roaring, roaring for Curry. Going for the crowd to count. He doesn't want this crowd, the count stretched. Curry is trying, Reigns is trying to keep the, the bull back and, so that he can execute this count. And Valentine is watching closely. Here he is now, taking no chances, but he doesn't have the, the stuff to get up. There is a count down and out. 17 seconds to Bull Curry. Match now stands at one Listen ball to the each. noise. Listen to that noise as Bull Curry pounds out. He win in an equalizing fall. 
by a technical knockout, if you will. He was under the rope, but that didn't enter into it. We're going to be back here in a moment. We'll be back here right after we have this word. As Dick Reigns is examining the cut. This match may be over. No, we'll, we'll be back here right after we have this word from the studio. Well, 10 seconds left in this rest period. The Bull Curry's ready to go. Whether Valentine's ready to go is doubtful. Two, one, and there is the bell as Curry moves in and blasts and blasts away. And here he is continuing that same furious pace. Keeping on Valentine, and this crowd is going crazy with the blood clattering all over. Here is an, it's all over me. As Valentine drives, catches those blows, and Dick Reigns is trying to interfere, but he is not having having any luck. There goes Curry now, determined to follow Valentine right smack out of the get We're trying to keep people here from injuring themselves by getting involved in this here, but Curry is determined that he is going to keep after Valentine and pound him. Dick Reigns is tolling the count up in that ring. As the, as Bull gets after him, chair in hand now, but the police got the chair out of the way, but he is after Valentine just the same. Spilling around here now to the opposite side. Both men have been counted outside the ring as they drive it drive it home and drive us out of our, our chair area. Valentine bleeding tremendously, blasted loose. And Curry Both after men have been counted out of Danny the ring McShane, on a 20 count. Danny McShane is, is trying to, to separate them. And now it's Dick Reigns trying to separate them and Bull Curry letting fly in partially with those driving blows of his on McShane and Dick Reigns with the seconds moving in and we've, We've got everything busting loose here as, as Reigns catches it. And there goes Valentine being grabbed by the police and snatched up the aisle. And Curry himself roaring in all directions as he moves first out into the crowd, then back into the ring. And listen to this tremendous roar of applause given to Bull Curry. The match has ended with both men being counted outside the ring. It was a draw, but draw or no, these people saw Johnny Valentine get the most tremendous battering of his life. And, in, and this is what the, look at, look at this boy bull. Look at these fans around this ring. Listen to this tremendous clattering uproar. As everybody roars their approval of Curry. Curry shouting to bring him back and I'll murder the bum racing from one side to another. And Bull Curry here now, he, he looks to me like he doesn't quite understand what has happened, but it has happened. And we tell you this, that as Bull Curry gets that approval from the fans, we'll be back here again. Wait, we'll stay right here. Put him in there without a referee. Bull Curry thinks the referee has interfered with him. Bull Curry is, is the guy making the noise here, and he says, put him in there without, he wanted this match without a referee. We'll be back here again after we have this word. We might tell you that that match you saw between Bull Curry and John Valentine is really a classic. It's one of those that we uh, have saved because we realized that it had a significance. Both these men are no longer in wrestling, but both of them have left a mark on wrestling that is purely indelible, something that has everything that wrestling should have. Been nice to have you with us in our program, and we just want to say to you, so long, everybody.